decision by the Minister of Energy to have all oil marketing companies procure their oil and gas products through the Uganda National Oil Company, UNOC, has created quite a star within the public and private sector spaces. Now, according to the Minister of Energy, this is meant to steady the supply of these products and therefore stabilize the prices. However, some pundits warn of the monopolistic tendencies and the subsequent consequences out of this decision. But we'll be discussing that in our subsequent shows. It is Man and Markets. Welcome to the show. Now, remember, Man and Markets is brought to you by Emirates. You want to talk business? Meet me in the Onboard Lounge. When Parliament took a decision to elevate a number of towns to state status, the question was how would they sustain themselves? Today, we pay a visit to Jinja to see how they are answering this question. <music> As a tourist city, one, um, Jinja is uh, blessed with the source of the Nile. And this is uh, our major attraction for tourism. And uh, as per statist statistics of the Ministry of Tourism, this is the second highest destination in Uganda. So it uh, attracts a big number of tourists, both internal and uh, international. Jinja being a, a tourist destination, we have had uh, a lot of investment in this sector. And uh, fortunately, the business committee has been very responsive. They are anticipating a lot of uh, opportunities. So we have had a number of uh, people refurbishing their utility, I mean their facilities. Others are expanding them. So this one is giving us opportunity to expand uh, that kind of uh, 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 industry. Others have employed more people, so employment also has gone up. And then others are trying to come up with other creative ways of investing in uh, this sector. Um, for the moment now, one, we, we, need, we need support on the roads. Mm? But fortunately at the moment, government has given us support of one, 17 billion shillings to promote the private uh, industry in Ginja. And this money is particularly for the development of Source of the Nile. So we are developing uh, modern facilities at the source of the Nile to make it, bring it to the international standards. And uh, the site is being handled over, handed over to the contractor next week to make sure that the uh, development starts. So we are so far getting enough support from the government and we really appreciate that. We are going to uh, continue uh, drumming and uh, attracting more tourists to come to Ginger as a tourist uh, destination. We are going to embrace all the developments that are coming to ensure that we continue improving this place as a uh, tourist destination. Ginger one is uh, a beautiful place, uh, blessed by nature. Two, by its historical perspective, it is the biggest um, uh, industrial city in uh, Uganda by its uh, origin. It was the, by origin is the industrial city of Uganda. And fortunately, unlike most places where the industry have closed, many of the cities in Ginja have remained active. I'm impressed that many, many are active. We took a, a census of the industries. I'm having close to 84, which are active. So that one has given us a unique, uh, a, a unique uh, position in the economy of Uganda. So I'm happy about that. Then two, um, it is large space, well planned, a large city well planned, with very hospitable persons. Now, with a fairly young population and creative at that, Uganda stands a big chance of benefiting out of the movie and the performing arts industry generally. Now, today we're trying to look at the efforts that are being devised to see that the country makes the best of this sector. <music> The content industry in Uganda remains challenged and underdeveloped, with pundits noting that while much effort has been invested in production, marketing and distribution remains at infancy. Most Ugandan content creators have targeted digital platforms, but observers know that besides such avenues, 
players need also to look at major networks and media channels because this is where they can earn better. Now government is coming in to render support to creators. To pitch your content and film ideas. When you win in the pitching, then you will also be uh, among the 100 people that will be supported to move to the next level of competition. And during the competition, we intend to have uh, 20 and uh, nine top winners who then will be supported by the European Union to be financed to create, produce, distribute and market their firm ideas. With support from the European Union, a port has been created where content creators, specifically those in the film industry, can participate. We're really here to launch our program, a 2 million euro program called Opportunities Are Here, which we want to, with which we want to boost the Ugandan uh, film sector, the Ugandan film industry. We have seen that there is obviously a very productive film industry already. There are some 200 movies produced in Uganda every year, but we think there's still potential. And we want to go beyond the already established actors in the movie industry. So with this project, we are really reaching out to all the regions of Uganda, to northern Uganda, the West Nile, to uh, eastern, western, southern uh, Uganda, everywhere, everybody in this country between 18 and 35 can participate. The content creation industry remains an urban best affair, especially around Kampala. But observers note that there is also potential beyond the capital, which should be tapped to support the youth and by extension, the economy. We noticed we, the sector has grown and the appreciation of this sector in terms of the importance in the government has also grown. But we still have a gap in terms of making sure that other people who can harness these opportunities across the country is, has not yet really been addressed. So opportunities are here is very instrumental in making sure we extend out across Uganda and reach more persons to harness the talent. Demographically, Uganda still has a fairly young population hungry for opportunity to make a living. And the film industry, or broadly the creatives, remain a low-hanging fruit that can transform the lives of many, but only if harnessed well.